हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट क्राइटेरिया और डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया फॉर सिस्टमिक ल्यूपस एरिथमेटोसिस सो फॉर सिस्टमिक ल्यूपस एरिथमेटोसिस डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया we just have to know the new diagnostic criteria not the older diagnostic criteria okay first we will see the diagnostic criteria based on the symptoms so one we have malar rash can be seen what is malar rash malar rash is presence of fixed erythema which is flat or which can be raised over the molar prominences or malar prominences or palar eminences presence of fixed erythema or flat rash over the malar eminences that is if the patient has fixed um, rash is present in the malar eminences over here with fixed erythema then we call it has malar rash that is one criteria the patient can also pres has present with discoid rash which is the second criteria in discoid rash are actually erythematous raised patches these are erythematous raised patches which are adherent which have an adherent keratotic scaling is present they have an adherent keratotic scaling and also follicular plugging can be there so this is a discoid rash which is seen which is called has which is discoid rash is also a diagnostic future criteria of systemic lupus erythematosus so first criteria is maloid malar rash second criteria is discoid rash then the next criteria is photosensitivity photosensitivity is mainly due to the exposure of ultraviolet light causes rash so whenever the patient is exposed to ultraviolet rash when the ra ultraviolet light when the rash develops then it is called as photosensitivity the patient can develop oral ulcers and these oral ulcers are actually painless oral ulcers can develop which is the fourth criteria then presence of arthritis is seen uh, when the patient develops arthritis develops in the patient and this is a non erosive arthritis is present and this non erosive arthritis is present in almost 90% of the cases and this is this arthritis is actually the most common initial future and if you do an x ray for diagnosis of arthritis the x ray will be found to be normal in arthritis so what are the features the first criteria is malar rash then we have discoid rash then third criteria is photosensitivity fourth is oral ulcers and fifth we have arthritis then then the sixth criteria is in the sixth criteria we have polycirrhositis can be present polycirrhositis includes the patient can have pleuritis pericarditis will be seen with ascites are the sick up are the four, three polycirrhositis in polycirrhositis there can be pericarditis uh, pleuritis and ascites then the patient can develop renal disorder also if the patient develops renal disorder in dis renal disorder actually in the renal disorder the patient can have poly sorry protein urea the patient can have protein urea okay if the patient the renal disorder the patient will have protein urea of if the patient has protein urea of 0.5 g per deciliter or if the patient has any cellular cast or if the patient has renal failure all these are the manifestations of renal disorder renal failure okay and the most commonly it causes Uh, glomerulonephritis that is most common type of glomerulonephritis is membranous glomerulonephritis can occur due to the uh, renal disorder okay next eighth criteria eighth criteria is presence of neurological disorder if the patient has any neurological disorders like uh, the patient can have seizures or there can be psychosis 
or there can be the patient can have stroke due to vas sorry stroke can be present or there can be neuropathy or if the patient has aseptic meningitis okay all these are the neurological disorders that is eighth criteria ninth criteria is hematological disorder okay in the hematological disorder these include we have in the hematological disorder we have hemolytic anemia or there can be leukopenia in the leukopenia they can be less than the leukocytes will be less than 4000 per microliter okay there will be okay there there will be hem hemolytic anemia leukopenia will be present and there is also uh, lymphopenia can occur in lymphopenia the lymphocytes will be less than 1500 per microliter or there can be even thrombocytopenia can be present in thrombocytopenia the platelets will be less than 1 lakh per microliter okay so these are the hematological disorders then the 10th one is we have anti-nuclear antibodies are also present the anti-nuclear antibodies which are important are we have anti-double stranded dna antibody or anti-smith antibody or we also have anti-phospholipid antibody so all these are the 10 criteria for systemic lupus erythematosus so for this if there are at least more than or equal to four features are positive then it is systemic lupus erythematosus thank you and thank you for watching